Speaking of canceling. I was wondering where you were going. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to say the Nicola thing. No. This is more of a termination. Yeah, this is full blown. We need, all need to say goodbye to the solidest of rockets, the Omega <laughs> rocket. Do you guys remember this at all? The Omega was competing against kind of in the same class as Vulcan, um, oh, okay. Blue, Blue Origins, uh, like New Glenn. I mean, it's, it was supposed to be up to a heavy class lifter almost. Like it was a really high performance rocket, but um, the Omega rocket was made by Northrop Grumman or being developed by Northrop Grumman. And they were trying to win that that contract, the um, Air Force contract, which ended up getting split 60% ULA and, and SpaceX won the, the rest of the 40%. Um, leaving Blue Origin and North of Grumman out of the running then. Uh, but Omega Rocket was solids on solids on solids on solids on solids on solids on solids <laughs> with a little bit of liquid on top. Racks on so, racks on racks. <laughs> <laughs> so it was literally basically a, a space shuttle solid rocket booster, but encased in uh, carbon fiber. So it was lighter weight than the aluminum casing um, with up to six other smaller strap on solid rocket boosters. <laughs> then it had another, the second stage was another solid rocket booster. And finally, the third stage was uh, a liquid hydrogen base, kind of like a Centaur type of upper stage. We're using, I think it was going to use an RL-10 even. Uh, so it was like uh, just plain bonkers. It was actually the backwards version of their Antares, which was a, a, which is what they still use to launch to the International Space Station, which is a liquid booster, solids, solids. This was solids, solids, liquid, and... <laughs> Just weird. It's interesting that the solids would be on the second stage. Yeah. Because because you can't, like, refire that. It's just like, boom, yep. and it gets you... You can't throttle or anything. Mm -hmm. and it seems like that's where you would want to be able to fine-tune your... Your well, that's even weirder on, on Tari is when the top stage, the, up to the third stage, is still a solid, where they literally... <laughs> they have to just, like, wait until it's at this perfect point, make sure it's pointing in the perfect direction, and light it up, and just you know basically <laughs> hope that everything's what, what perfect and be, they can still steer what would be the advantage is there anything you gain by going solid in theory cheap you know um a solid rocket booster is is a less elegant solution you know it's a it's a cheaper propellant sometimes and a cheap well no, maybe not even the propellant but the actual motor is basically just a shell with some avionics and some you know some stuff but it's not all these extra moving parts they're there's the cool thing about a solid rocket booster is you can sit, it can sit there for years sometimes, <laughs> not all the time. Like the SRBs actually have a shelf life for the, you know, for SLS, which is one of the reasons why it should launch next year because they have the boosters ready. And if it goes beyond about a year shelf life, they have to like repack them. But like um, intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles, a lot of them are solid rocket boosters. So because they can just sit there and hang out and you can just light them, you know, and they're ready to go at any point. So there's some simplicity there. Um, theoretically some cost savings but obviously it wasn't competitive enough to win these contracts and we now uh are saying goodbye to omega which for the record i would have actually loved to see launch like can you imagine omega hardly newer <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but can you <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but, uh, but can you guys imagine seeing a a, a, boot, a rocket that's just all solids taking off like Space what would be seven. different about how it looks? And it would be a lot of pollution. <laughs> um, it'd be very loud. It would take off likely very, very, very quick. Hmm. See, this is this is one of the reasons why I, I do want to see SLS go up because I I missed the shuttle. Mm -hmm. I never got to see the shuttle go up, and those solid rocket boosters are just such monsters. Yeah. and SLS will I would have really love to see that two bigger boosters than the space shuttle, so it will be like. When it launches, it will be ground shaking, you know. Earth shattering. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash yt. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.